Hey guys, welcome back to another Gaming Memories video. Here we are taking a look at a water sport racing game that was released in Japan called Virtual Kyoto, if I pronounced that correctly, 98. Well, primarily it was released in Japan in 1998. I didn't really actually know about this game. I just happened to be just browsing online for games that we actually have a look at. And I wanted to try something a little bit different, but this is definitely different. It's kind of hard to really grasp what's kind of going on here. Like, it has a cool concept, and I do like water sports racing games. I've played a lot of them on the PlayStation, but a lot of them are definitely more easy to pick up and more user-friendly. This one kind of isn't. I know there's a language barrier, and I don't understand the language, but it's not as easy to get used to or figure out exactly what's actually happening. It's not a case of where you can actually just actually just start off from the start line and literally just whip around the course and finish in first place. You actually have to do like a warm up lap and then you have to kind of just stall the engine at the towards the point when you get round half of the course and then you start. But the problem is the sometimes if you let if the computer AI the other opponents on the course get ahead of you, the chances of you actually catching up are very slim. Plus, if you collide with them at all, like if you have a heavy collision or if you accidentally hit one of the walls on the side of the track, instantly it's game over because your jet ski will actually just topple over and you'll end up underneath the water, so it's game over instantly. So it's not it's not the most beginner-friendly game, I will admit. Now, I had a wee bit of a play around with it. I do like the idea. Like I said, I do like water sports games, but this is difficult. It's not... It's not something that I would actually, I suppose, go out of my way to play. I just said I'd just try it and just see, you know, because I'd never seen that and really like it. But I tried to play it through the campaign and I was just completely lost. I didn't really know what was going on because there's so many things like to go through. You'd be there nearly for half an hour before you even get in to even do your first race and then literally you'll topple the boat in the first corner. So I was like, no, probably not my cup of tea. I know it's not often to say that about games. Like, I do, it, it actually handles okay, and there's some cool camera angles, but the camera angles can also be a bit fiddly as well, because if you're using the over, uh, above the top, like the, kind of like the drone shot kind of camera, as you'll see in the video, it's very, very hard to determine where you're actually going to turn the corner, so you get it's very easy to get caught out, you're not really sure of your surroundings, so if you are playing this game, or if you have played it, I'm sure you, you've, you've noticed that as well, but... I don't even know if even too many people know about this game. I'm sure it's big in Japan. I, you know, don't get me wrong, but uh, yeah, I don't think this game would have done too well. I don't think over in Europe for some reason because I just really don't think that it would have suited a lot of people. Again, because the gameplay style and aesthetics and the rules, a lot of it doesn't make sense from what I've managed to play of it so far. So I, ju I just decided I just play it and have a go, and I said I just make a quick video of it and see. If anyone does actually know anything about this at all and see if anyone can share it or know anything about it really, if there's any information out there because I couldn't really find anything online too much about it. So I'd love to know then in the comments what you think of this, if you even have seen this or know anything about it at all and if so make sure to share it down below. So if you have enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like, also be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be updated whenever I release future content and also feel free to share the video as I will be exploring more quirky games like this here on the PlayStation, but also re-exploring those old classic games that we all know and love and still play to this day. So as always, make sure to keep playing those classic games and enjoying them, and keep those gaming memories alive.